It's orange bucket season. Orange bucket day. So the temperature has dropped a little bit since we last spoke. Um, hence the orange bucket. I love this helmet. Tend to sweat a little bit more with it on because it is totally covered. But for inclement weather, yeah, I'll take it every day. So uh, yeah, seven degrees right now, a little nipply. It's time of the year where <laughs> if it goes below 10 degrees Celsius, I just grab all my winter gear, all of it. I got on the mitts. Check. I got on the neck protector. Check. I got on the head cover, ear cover thing. Check. And I got on my winter booties. Check, check. Feeling good. All right, I want to talk to you about my saddlebag. Yeah. It's called the Speed Sleeve. Let's check it out. Okay, I want to talk to you um, about saddlebags and more specifically the saddlebag that is on my Mariposa bike. It is a speed sleeve from a company out of Pennsylvania based in the United States of America. This is a speed sleeve Ranger. It is the smallest option that they offer and it is perfect for what I'm looking for. This is replacing this. Now, when you look at the two saddlebags, ostensibly they are the same size. So why on earth would I change? At the end of the day, there's nothing really wrong with this Saikon saddlebag. It is petite and it carries almost everything that I need. However, I wasn't a big fan of this contraption that hooks on to the bottom side of your saddle. Saddle rails go through here. Um, it protruded a fair bit from the seat post and saddle combination and I didn't really like it. So when I cut over to a more classic style frame, which the steel bike is, I wanted a saddlebag that was petite again, carried most of the items that I would need in the case of an emergency, but more importantly, something that really tucked away nice and tight on the underside of the saddle. The other big difference between the two of these, this Sycon saddlebag is basically just an open container. There's no hidden compartments in here. It is just open. So what can I get in here? Um, I could get a inner tube for sure, tire irons, CO2 canister, and probably a CO2 pump. And what can I get in here? So what I really like about this speed sleeve is the ease of fitting it under the saddle. These basically just loop through the rails on your saddle and then attach thusly. That's not going anywhere. The other thing I really like about it is the little compartments. That's like Christmas. Little compartments that hold everything nice and tight. So what do I carry for my average ride? I'm not a uh, ultra cyclist by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't really need to carry a ton of stuff. Also, I'm not a big fan of jamming a ton of materials into the back pockets of my jersey. So what do I have in here? Here's my CO2 applicator doohickey. Tire levers, just in case. One CO2 canister. Multi-tool. I have a uh, spare inner tube. One should be sufficient. Again, I don't go super long. I'm more of a 100 kilometer kind of guy and I think uh, one should be sufficient. And the other thing is I run tubeless. And um, because I've had so much difficulty with the SRAM red shifters and the battery drain, uh, I think it's a, a smart idea to carry a spare CR2032 replacement battery. So all of these goodies 
fit nice and neatly in here and again it tucks up very nicely underneath the saddle. Uh, just a note about uh, the CO2 applicator doohickey and the CO2 canister. I'm probably going to do away with these two. Um, the NV 3.4 hoops I have on my bike are a hookless um, design. So you can only go, I think, as high as 75 PSI on those uh, before you run the risk of blowing the uh, tire off of the rim. So it's hard to control the CO2 output. At the end of the day, I think I'm going to go down the path of a frame pump. So Silka, I'm looking at you.